In this lesson, we are going to implement search functionality in the e-commerce website. What we're going to do is to create a search box on the header. And when user search for something like pants, we redirect user to the search page at this address and pass the query as query string to this URL. What we're going to do here is to implement a search page that includes two columns the filter columns and the content columns. You can filter by categories, brands, price range, and average rating. In the results section, you can find all filters, remove all filters, sort products by price, reviews, and the date of arrival. In the results section, we have all products. You can add them to the cart and we implement pagination to get the source code of this lesson, visit repository, and in the comment section, find video 36, create search page. If you are ready, let's get to code. Here is the plan to implement search page. Go to the pages folder, right click, New file, set file name to search.js. Let us start by defining the first constant that we're going to use here. It's page size. You can set to whatever you like because we are going to implement pagination. We need to set the page size. The second constant that I'm going to have is prices. We're going to define three price ranges and each one is an object that has a value and a name. We use this value to create filter for products. And the next constant is rating. We're going to show five ratings in the UI to filter products based on average rating by user. Good. Next step is defining the search function. Get router from use router import use router from next slash router and here it's time to get filter criteria like query category brand price rating sort and page we get them from the url using router.query and we set default value for them for the next step we get products count products, categories, brands, and pages from props. We need to implement get server side props to fill this data in the server side. We go for it later. Good. The next step is defining filter search function. It's an arrow function that accepts this object. We have an object that contains page, category, brand, sort, minimum price, maximum price, search query, price, and rating. In this function, get query from router. If page exists in the filter search parameter, set it in the query.page. By setting this in the URL, you will have page equal to the value that we have in the page. Do the same for search query, sort, category, brand, price, and rating. Also, for minimum and maximum, check the value with zero. If it's equal to zero, use zero. Otherwise, use the minimum price. At the end, redirect user to the path name and the query. So what we did in the filter search function is getting the filter criteria and redirecting user to search page based on the value that user entered in the filter criteria. Let's use the filter function. The first usage of filter function is in category handler. When user change the category, we call filter search and change the category based on the value that user selected in the combo box. Do the same for page handler, brand handler, sort handler, price handler, and rating handler. We used these handlers in the UI part later. Let's go for next step. 
get the context using use context hook import store open store.js in utils folder control space and select this one to import store from utils slash store we need this to define the add to cart function like what we did in the home page when user click add to cart we need to find that cart item calculate the quantity get that product from the backend let's import axios from axios if product does not exist show this message import toast and return otherwise add to cart should be dispatched and redirect user to the cart page good that's it about the business logic of search page and it's time to go for the ui part return what i'm gonna return here like always is layout component import layout open layout.js in components folder and control space import it then define a dev set the display to grid and for medium screen to larger screens use four columns to create a column on the left side for filter section inside this dev create another dev and inside that create another dev set margin vertically to three set categories as h2 and here it's time to define a select box for category this select box has class w full to make it full width and the value is category it's the value that we have defined at the beginning of search component here and we get it from the router.query the url when there is a change we call category handler and inside category handler we redirect user to the search page and set the category in the url to the value that user entered or selected in the select box in the options we have default options all categories and if categories exist we map them to options we fill categories in the get server side props later do the same logic for brand like this here is the code to create brand filter do the same for prices here is the prices section and we get the prices from the prices array that we have defined at the beginning of this page this file next one is for rating like this and here it's time to define the next dev the dev next to the filter column for medium screen it's gonna span three column great inside that create a dev and for this dev create flex to show search result inside that create another dev and make it flex and item center and here we are going to show the search summary if product.length is equal to zero show no otherwise show count products result if we have filters show the filters like this then create empty space and use this conditional rendering if we have at least one filter show close or remove filter otherwise show nothing let's import it import x circle icon at the beginning from hero icons save it and let's go back to this line next to this dev show the sort by feature we have four sort criteria including featured products by price customer review newest revolves good after this dev create another dev and here it's time to list products we're gonna show products inside this dev so make it grid and set grid columns to one create gaps four and for medium screen to larger screen show three products in a row to render products use 
product.map and use product item. We already implemented product item components inside the components folder. So just control space and import it here. After this step, it's time to render pagination. So create UL set class name to flex and check products. If products.length is greater than zero, render this expression, create an array from pages. So if we have three pages, it's gonna generate zero, one, two, and map that array to list item. In the list item, render a button and for unclick, call page handler and change the page in the URL. Good. As a last part of this file, we need to define get server side props. What I'm gonna do here is to define constant for page size, page category, brand, price, rating, sort, and search query from the query string in the URL. Then define filters. The first filter is query filter. If we have something in the query in the URL, we create this filter for MongoDB. Here we search in the name of product and ignore case sensitivity. If there is no filter for query, we use nothing as filter. Do the same for category, brand, and rating filter. For price filter, it's a bit tricky because the price is in this format. So return products between $10 to $50. So we need to use a split to get 10 and 50 and generate object for filter in the MongoDB database like this. The next step is creating sort criteria. Check the sort in the URL. If it's featured, featured should be used as filter. I'm using is featured because in the database we have is featured. If it's by lowest, use price ascending. If it's highest, use price descending. The next step is getting all categories from the products model using distinct function of MongoDB. Import product, open product.js in models folder, go back to search, control space on product and import it from models folder. Get brands with the same policy and get product documents using this function product.find and as a first parameter, the structure all filters that you have defined in previous step and combine them together to apply the filter that user selected in the UI. Also, we're not gonna get the reviews because it makes the product heavy, product object, so remove the reviews felt from them. Then sort them by the order that user selected and use a skip and limit with this code to apply pagination. Then call lean to convert them plain text object. Do the same to get the count products, count documents and same filter. Don't forget we need to connect to the database. First, import db open db.js in utils folder and import db at the end call db.disconnect convert product documents to product object using convert doc to object function and at the end return this object we pass props to the search component and what we pass our products, count products, page, pages, categories, and brands. Save the code and we are ready to test it. Put slash search. Awesome. Here we implemented search page and in the left side we have filter like only show pants, only show brand 
Kessley. As you see, it works. Filter price. Let me get rid of this and filter and only show prices in this range or in this range and the rating like this. Also, you can filter products by price like this. Great. If I click on close button, it removes all filters. Let's create a search box. Open layout.js at the very beginning of layout.js and right before return, define query, set query as state hook and define submit handler function to handle to implement search functionality. What we do here is to redirect user to the search page using the query that user entered inside the text box. Import use effect, get router from use router and import use router from next slash router. Let's use submit handler, scroll down and find the Amazon link, define a form and for unsubmit, call submit handler and set a class to margin auto, hidden, and show only in the medium screen and greater screens. And then define an input box in the form for unchange, update the query state, set type to text, and for class name, use this class, and for place order, search product. Next to the input box, define a button and use this class for the button, set type to submit and set ID to button add-on. For the icon, use search icon, import it from hero icons. Save it. Great, here is the search box. If I type pants and press enter, I will be redirected to this address search question mark query pants and it shows only products that contains pants in the product name. Great, we successfully implemented search page and search input box in the header. Let's review what we did. We created search.js to handle search functionality in this e-commerce website. In the layout, we implemented search box to show search box to show search box in the header. That's it about this lesson. Until next lesson, bye-bye.